just woke up. I'm gonna make myself some matcha because we're gonna stop and get coffee on the way. But it's time to start loading the car for our road trip. This is all the baby stuff for the trip. I just laid out their clothes last night, so I could just easily throw them on them this morning. Okay, I am ready for the day, so I just got my little like toiletry bag, which is the last thing that I pack because I wait until I'm ready. So I'm gonna zip this up, close suitcases, and then I need to load the car before they wake up. Those two big giant bags are Leah's presents for our siblings. Okay, everything's loaded in the car. I'm gonna run up and grab the babies and get them ready. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna go get your sound machine. It would not have been a great day if I forgot this. I also just realized I haven't pulled their cups out of the washer. We're actually gonna go on a road trip today. These are the only cups I will travel with with them because they are truly leak free and they have a little handle for them to hold. Your cups in my bag, okay? I need to finish getting them ready and then we can leave. I don't think there's anything else to do. I just went through and turned off all the lights. I'm grabbing like the last few things. They're special lovies. Are you getting those leaves? Hi, toddlers. <laughs> Don't waste any of their apple. One time I asked where their rind was and they handed me two seeds. I have this little trash bag, so let's use it, okay? We are officially out of the house and that was like probably, I would say an eight out of 10 success rate. That was pretty easy. They woke up in a great mood. Um, I was able to get pretty much everything I needed to get done before they woke up, so. Yeah, we are on the road and headed to our first stop for our 24 hour road trip. The plan is to stop at my mother and father-in-law's, which is like, it'll take us like probably six and a half hours to get there. Um, so we'll stop there and we're gonna stay for Thanksgiving. And then Leah is gonna fly in and meet me at their house. And then we're gonna drive the rest of like the 16 hours to get to Texas from there. So yeah, we only have to do like six and a half, seven hours of the trip by ourselves. And we've done this route before, so I'm really not worried about it. They're pretty great car riders. Do you wanna go see grandma and grandpa? Yeah? Plan is to go to Starbucks. I'm gonna get a coffee. I'm gonna get them egg bites. I always give them egg bites when we travel. Usually I buy the little ones from Costco when we're flying and I'll feed them to them on the way to the airport. But I didn't wanna buy any groceries for the house since we're gonna be gone for so long. So um, yeah, our whole reason for driving this trip instead of flying is because we're gonna be in Texas. <coughs> at a rental house for a while and I wanted to have a car. Had we flown, I wouldn't have a car for the time that we're there. So yeah, it made the most sense to drive um, and I'm feeling really optimistic about our road trip. I think it's gonna be good. Thank you. Thank you so You're much. Welcome. I'm gonna go park to get gas and I'll help you with your tool, okay? I promise. The hardest part about traveling with toddlers by yourself is that you can't exactly help them when they drop something while you're driving. It's all good. I just parked to get some diesel and I'm gonna help him find his tool and then we'll officially be on the road with our breakfast ready to go. Okay, so this gas station is actually closed. My tank is like a quarter over half full. So I was probably gonna have to stop close to my in-laws anyways with a full tank. Did you drop it again? So now I'll just have to stop a little bit sooner, so it's fine. Okay, so we are, we only have two and a half hours left. We just got to a gas station that has diesel. I pulled up to two that did not have diesel and that was a little scary because we have like 60 miles until we're on empty now. But um, we made it, I'm gonna get some diesel and then there are some restaurants down here. So I'm gonna see if I can find one that has a playground. Because normally I would just let them get out and run in like a field, but it's pouring rain, so. That's my plan. <laughs> Charlie. <Why>? Charlie. <laughs> you mean to tickle you? <laughs> Hi. Hi. Oh, it's ready. Okay, babies. Let's go get some lunch. Got to a Chick-fil-A. It is 
pouring rain. So we are going to run inside. I'm just gonna grab my diaper bag to do diaper changes. I'm gonna go to the bathroom, but I need to put on their shoes first. I'm gonna unbuckle you and I need you to crawl up, okay? I'm gonna go in the restaurant and dry them. It's gonna be wet. Come here, Sean. Oh. Ew. French fries. We are back in the car. I am pretty much soaking wet after buckling both of them in their car seats. We are like two hours and 15 minutes out. We've already done the brunt of the drive, like the big portion. So this shouldn't be bad at all. You guys, we made it. We are all dying to get out of this car. So I'm gonna give you a full recap later, but we did it. We are at my mother and father-in-law's. We spent Thanksgiving here. It was really, really sweet and great. We had a great time. Now it is the morning before we are back on the road and heading to Texas. So. We just got ready for the day because we were going to the airport to pick up Leah. She was originally supposed to meet bump, us here so bump. we could... Do we need a bump? Bump. <laughs> we were originally supposed to fly here so we could drive the rest of the way to Texas and her plane is landing in about an hour. So we are up and ready, about to run out the door to get Leah and then today I need to repack all of our bags and then pack the car and stock it full of snacks. I think our plan is to break up the trip a little bit. So we're gonna drive as long as we can tomorrow, stop for the night and then pick up where we left off in the morning and just finish the drive the next day. So just gonna chill, you know, like we're not in a huge rush to get to Texas. We're first going to my friend's house in Dallas and we're gonna stay with her for a little bit. We're just going to get some food, some coffee, and just have a fun little road trip, and it's gonna be a little stress. Let's go get Nani. I am running so behind. We were running out the door this morning, and we had a big toothpaste incident, um, and Leah originally told me to pick her up at 11, and then she ended up landing like 40 minutes early, so she's already at the airport, and then I remembered I had to transfer the car, the car seats from my mother and father-in-law's car to Nathan's truck. And we got all that done, we got on the road, and my gas tank was on empty. Here you go, baby. So yeah, we are gonna be picking her up a smidge late. Yeah, I see you, do you see me? Yeah, do you see me? Yeah, I see you. There's Nani, guys, there's Nani. Oh my, God. oh my goodness, I'm stressed. Oh, <laughs> oh no, it's like she's she gonna, gonna go. run at me and I know, I'm wearing, oh. Very cute, cute, very cute. So we stopped, we got ice lattes. Now we just stopped at a gas station because we're going to completely fill up the tank and Leah's gonna air up the tires because there's a little... I'm the man on this road trip. Mm. Yeah, they need air. So she's gonna do that because I don't know how to do that. Five in. We're gonna get up at five, pack as fast as we can and get That's out as disgusting. early as we can. What should I get? Gigi. Or charge charge. <laughs> charge, charge. <laughs> You know how to make it go? Yeah. <laughs> Dad showed me one time, but I forgot. This ain't the half a thing. Girls, it's play us too. <laughs> <laughs> it's the night before we leave, and I have not packed or looted anything yet. My mother-in-law actually just folded all of this laundry that I need to put in our suitcases, and then I need to pack the truck. sleep but I'm up and I'm moving I'm gonna get ready a little bit and then I'm gonna go grab a red bull put the last few things in the car and then get the babies because I want to be in the car before 6 a.m. they're still rolling around in bed sleepy girl it's too early you just have to get up and get moving <laughs> it's so cold <laughs> It is so dark outside this morning. These winter months are brutal. It's also freezing cold, but I just loaded our suitcases into the truck and I started it so I could start warming up before I grabbed the babies. It is 6.17, so we missed our in the car deadline by 17 minutes, but we are all in the car, packed up, and the babies are buckled and we're hitting the road. You guys want to see more tractors? Let's look up here on your left. I see tractors. Did you not press record before you no. gave it to me? You were like, I'll do it. I'll do it. 
I said I'll hold it. It said second window. You don't Mom, wish. Papa <laughs> <laughs> I wanted like, chicken nuggets. <laughs> at 7 a.m. who orders that? 7 a.m. and the usual morning, morning line. Now clean. Polish and wax and sweep oh, until the floors right. all clean. No. You don't like no. that? No. 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 <laughs> you don't like that? That's so real. I love that. Y'all don't like that. This early sing no guys. <laughs> Y'all don't want us to sing Disney princess songs? No. It's too early. <laughs> it's too early. Okay, we won't sing any songs. Hallelujah. Frida, <laughs> why you we just hit rush hour traffic. We got stuck in that non-stop traffic but it's finally starting to pick up and move again and we're pretty much gonna have to stop for gas. How are you feeling? Let's flip this around. One, I feel like the girl we put on the boys TV show, I was reaching back there every two seconds. They had a lot of need. And I also think I was very hangry because she would not stop to get food. She was like, we had been awake for two hours and she was like, no, we're not gonna stop yet. It's only 7 a.m. Yeah, we were only 30 minutes into our road trip. And I'm it was hungry. 6 a.m. I, I become a mini Dixie on um, like road trips. We stopped and got breakfast 30 minutes in. Like the first breakfast place we yeah. saw, we got breakfast. But I had been awake for like two hours. I'm great. But this drive is going really slow. Okay, we have been on the road for five hours. And we just arrived at Bucky's. We're like completely out of gas. So we're gonna fill up and then walk around for a bit, let everyone stretch. We did really good on time. Somehow we dropped like 20 minutes, I think because Google Maps predicted heavier traffic. So we're actually doing really, really good. And we're gonna eat lunch here because it's 11.15. <laughs> is this everything we need? We're back in the car. We got the goods. Leah's gonna drive now. So I drove for like the first five hours. I'm going to feed the baby. So I'm in the back seat, entertaining tiny people because they started to lose it a little bit. Theo actually took a really good nap today, so he's doing good, uh, but Charlie did not sleep at all, so we're entering cranky zone. We're stopping in about 15 minutes and then we're gonna get dinner, they're gonna get their wiggles out, Lee and I are gonna get a coffee, and then we'll have like four and a half hours left. So we're still doing really good. Like we've had one minor meltdown um, due to not taking a nap. So all in all, I feel like that's a win. Just passing out trail mix now. Are you guys excited? Oh my. <laughs> yeah, oh, I unbuckled them. <laughs> We stopped to fill He's up so and they're so excited. <laughs> what do you see? We mapped ourselves to a Starbucks and it's in a mall. So we're just gonna go in, get coffee and some dinner for them and let them run around for a bit. And this should be our last stop before we get to our destination. What a dinner spread. <laughs> they asked if they could drive these. Yes, we gotta go, stinker. Show me your driving skill. Let's get back on the road. Four and a half hours more. Four and a half hours more. That's not so I'll bad. Drive, I'll drive like two more hours and we'll switch. So get on the road. 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 Woo, 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 woo. <laughs> yeah, also got me an iced coffee. I'm going to sip on this uh, to keep me awake for the last four hours. We made it to Texas. We are officially at my best friend Ash's house. She actually just finished setting up this little party for the boys to wake up to. They're napping right now. This is our first morning here. Road trip got a little dicey at the end. Last night, we were about 45 minutes away from Ash's house and they just woke up from asleep and started screaming, crying. So we pulled over, I changed their diapers, and just snuggled them for a minute, and then I ended up sitting in the back seat with them and holding their hands while Leah drove the rest of the way and they fell back asleep. So they just needed a little snuggle and a fresh diaper, but overall it was such a good trip. I could not be more proud of them for handling it so well. They were in the car for, I guess like totaling 16 hours yesterday. Was that like 16 hours, Leah? It's like 18. 
Yeah, but like car time was 16 in the car driving. Yeah. yeah, it was like 16 total in the car, but 18 hours, an 18 hour travel day. So I could not be more proud of them. They did so, so good. We just kept a steady flow of snacks, diaper changes, let them stretch, um, and they were good. Also movies. They watched quite a few movies yesterday too. So we finally arrived and we'll be at my friend Ash's house for the next couple of days. Thank you guys so much for watching this week's video. <laughs> And I will see you guys next week. I'm planning on filming a little like video when we get to our rental home of just adjusting and decorating and getting cozy for the next little while. Hey guys, thanks for watching my video. <laughs>